the Central Guinea Pig Rescue. And this little gorgeous guinea pig is called Turtle. Let me tell you about this gorgeous little guinea pig. She is a female and she came into Cavi Central's rescue life some time ago, roughly 10 weeks ago, and we had a call that a guinea pig had given birth to two guinea pigs, one of which was very deformed. And of course, this is in fact little Turtle. So Turtle's got some serious issues. Normally you can't hold them, of course, in your hand if they're like that. You see them in the distance, but little Turtle's a bit different. Okay, and you can see her little feet are moving there. She's actually quite chilled out at the moment. And there's a reason for that. That is that she's very badly deformed. Turtle has very little mobility at the moment. Let me just pick her up. <laughs> And you can take a better look at her. So you'll notice that her limbs go in all different directions. So we have her rear foot, you can see here. It's right, she's extending it out. She can actually bend this. This bends right down and takes a normal shape, but she refuses to do it. And her little front limbs, let's take a look at these first. She's actually quite comfortable doing this, but they go across her body. And that's their permanent position and her head has a majorly severe head tilt. So she is very dependent on everything that's been done for her from day one. And uh, there are some fairly serious complications start to arise at this point. Let's run through some more of her issues apart from her physical issues in that she came into this world badly formed she loves her food <laughs> she's eating and pooping quite normally but she actually is blind so I'm just going to sit her up a bit let's just give her a little bit of carrot and see what happens here we go turtle want some? <laughs> she's always wanting food so she'll take it and devour it very quickly her appetite is fantastic and you'll see we've now got a little piggy who is very much aware of what's going on munching away on her food. She loves her food and as I mentioned before her her system is, is really good and healthy but she is dependent on us and what we provide her with and how we position her. In terms of suffering she's not in pain and we know that from lots of different reflexes but there are times when her position is compromised and she can't control it and of course that would be very distressing to her. So yeah, we have to weigh up how far we look at care for her. And we're, we're actually really at the point where we need to make a call on that because she was fully able to move up until several days ago, roughly two days ago, everything changed. And for her, she's now with her weight bearing, not able to move sufficiently with her left arm to stay upright and actually move along, move along really well. So in the last two days, things have dramatically changed for her. And sadly, I do think that we will have to, to take the kind of option for her. But um, yeah, these are some of the, the issues that come up in rescue that we need to look at all the time with really, really severely compromised unwell animals. Limbs, because they are deformed, it means that as they grow, the pressure points are completely different and abnormal to where your body would want them to be. So they're at risk of things like bumblefoot or abnormal swelling, sores in different locations. <laughs> Just gobbling that up. So Turtle is uh, still doing well. She lets me know when she wants food, of course, and she's been taken care of. She. Uh, tends to roll over to one side very heavily so she's got different pillows and and different um, items that we strap her to for physiotherapy to strengthen her legs we're hoping that she'll regain use of her legs but at the moment she's decided that she can actually get around by pushing herself around so while she's getting a bit stronger she's still not doing what uh, we want her to do you can see her reaching for food if i put it over here see what happens and uh, she's only young 
So she would be now um, 14, 15 weeks. I'd have to go through the, the information. I think I first introduced her to you about two weeks ago. And uh, as you can see, she's doing, she's doing well. She's uh, very much a full-time um, needs guinea pigs. And now see how she's trying to move those limbs? She wasn't doing that before. So she's unaided here at the moment. If we have her propped up, she does a little bit better. But we're really hoping that this strength is all together. So good girl. Good girl. She's doing really well. Very gorgeous. Turtle having some grass. She's pretty agile to grab what she wants. <laughs> she's got pretty good neck movement. And she seems to know what she's reaching for, so she manages to get all of it. Turtle, you're doing so well. Send us some love, everyone. So here we are six hours later and this is what we find with turtle so everything that was in there you can see she's completely made a circle she's eaten everything she's in a different position and uh, what i'm going to do is just lift her out and show you what a little poop station she is oh, come on sweetie pie look at that so she certainly is chew and poo non-stop <laughs> is very healthy in that regard. So I'm going to set her up again and show you in a moment. Okay, right, so we've set her up again, fresh mat. She's got some fresh food in there. I'm just going to pop it back in. I usually use two hands because she's a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try and see if I can get her in position. And uh, off she goes again. So she's just had some water as well. It's been about six hours. Um, check on her actually before then because we're going to give her a bath she does need a but I know is that a happy sound happy sound she's in the piggy room here and she's being fed first so I'm gonna go do the others and um, yeah we'll uh, keep you updated with her she will clear all of that yet again have really changed for turtle she has completely stopped moving down the left hand side and we are in the middle of the most severe lockdown we've ever had her little limbs are directly moved right out at her right out on right angles um, and she's only able to have critical care now so things are not looking as as good as they were three weeks ago and uh, I will keep you posted. <laughs>